Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Sophie and welcome to this gentle full body yoga stretch to really just stretch, relax and take some time for yourself. So this is a good, good practice to do any time of the day that you just have that short bit of time that you can take for yourself. So whether that's the morning, the middle of the day or even in the evening, say after the kids have gone to bed. So let's just sit up in a cross-legged seated position, just really feeling the sit bones anchoring you to the mat. Just rest your hands lightly on the thighs, find that openness across the chest, press up through the crown of the head, and we'll just start by closing the eyes. So here I just really want you to bring your gaze inward, so focusing on the sensations within the body and really letting the outside world just go for this, this little bit of time. We'll take some breaths together just to start. So breathing in through the nose, really expanding through the rib cage. And then exhale, letting the ribs draw back in as the breath travels out of the body. Just a couple more, just like that in your own time. If you've had a hard day or you've got a lot going on, just really use this time to help refresh you, help you feel calm and relaxed. And then when you're ready, opening the eyes and let's just start with some gentle neck stretches. So dropping the right ear towards the shoulder, letting this left shoulder just roar away nice and gently. And you might wanna take the right arm and just gently pull the head down towards the shoulder. And then from there, turning the eye gaze towards the mat, take the crown of the head and just draw the chin in towards the chest for that deeper stretch through the back of the neck. Releasing that, let's take the other side. Dropping the left ear towards the shoulder, feel this right shoulder drawing away, letting go of any tension from the day or from sleep if you're doing this early in the morning. And you can always take the left arm just for a little more leverage. Deep breaths there. And then turning the eye gaze to the mat, take the crown of the head, draw the chin in towards the chest. releasing tension through the back of the neck and then back to center take the fingertips behind the head let's just scoop in through the belly so exhale as you scoop in really use the breath here now inhale opening through the chest and again three more exhale rounding through the back of the body and then lengthening through the spine two more exhale if you've been sitting at a desk today, or you're taking this as a break from your lunch from work, this is a really good one for our posture. Last one. And sitting up nice and tall. Place the right hand down. Let's take a side stretch. Inhale, exhale, side bend over. Fingertips reach for the side wall. And then if it feels good for you, opening across the chest, cactus the arm, circle the arm around. Let's take that again. Stretching long, cactus the arm, and around. One more that side. And coming back the way we came, left side. Inhale, exhale, finding your side bend. If it feels good, cactusing the arm open. Circle around, two more. Last one. Opening through the heart, circling around. Sitting up nice and tall and let's come to child's pose.
Toes together, knees wide, reach the arms nice and long and then just melt the heart through, bring the gaze down to the mat. Just breathe here for a moment. Really sending any tension physically or emotionally into the mat. And from here we'll just thread the needle. So take the right arm and thread it under the left and the gaze looks under the arm. And just take a moment here. other side stretching the right arm long left arm comes underneath reaching through find your twist there just keep it nice and gentle reaching long and now let's come to a kneeling position so bring the foot through keep the feet hip width apart and just find that lovely hip flexor stretch through the front of the hip. A good one if you work at a desk and you sit down a lot. Open across the chest here. Just breathe there a moment. Then let's bring the hands down and we're just going to take some hip circles. So circling around one way, doesn't matter which way. We'll take four one way. Circling around. hip mobility and back the other way if this isn't so good for your knee you could always place a cushion under your knee for a little more support that's it and either stay right here nice and high or you can heel toe the foot a little bit wider and come down to the forearms once again just really bringing the gaze in here so important to take this time for yourself to rest to relax to release tension beautiful let's take the other side left foot comes forward let's just start with that kneeling lunge so hips and shoulders square to the side wall open across the chest finding that beautiful hip flexor stretch then bringing the hands down. You might just heel toe the foot a little wider so you've got a little bit more space. And then let's take those hip circles. Four in one direction, nice and slow, really full deep circles here. And then back the other way. Keep breathing and releasing tension through the head and neck. And then once again, heel toe the foot a little bit wider, stay up high on the hands or coming down to the forearms for that deeper stretch. Wherever you are though, really sending the breath down into the hip space. What can you let go of here? Beautiful. Walking the hands back up, turn to face me. Let's extend the right leg. And your option here is either to bring the left foot in or you can place it out to the side if you've got a little more uh, mobility through the hips. We're taking a side bend. So side bend over here. And that may be enough. So stay there or have the foot in. Or you can take the ankle and really find that beautiful side stretch. Plenty of options for everyone. Just take what serves you. Coming out of it, let's bring this leg down 
and then just turn to face the foot and we'll fold in for a hamstring stretch. Reach the arms nice and high, inhale here, exhale, reaching out over the leg, folding down. Let's keep this nice and gentle. So no more than about 60% of your range of stretch. So no need to force anything too much. Let's just keep it nice and gentle today. Sometimes it's not always about pushing and working for more. Sometimes it's just about relaxing, being there, being present and releasing tension. And walking the hands up, let's take the other side. So extending the left leg long. And once again, either leg just down here in front of you or taking it out to the side if you've got a little more range. Hand comes down, reaching over. And if it's for you, you can take the ankle. Really reaching out to the side wall. And then coming high, coming for our hamstring stretch. So hips nice and square to the front foot, reaching the arms, inhale, exhale, folding forward. Deep breaths, just encouraging the muscles to relax. Remember, not pushing too much, we're just releasing tension. And then from there, walking the hands up and let's roll down onto the mat. So we'll come into a twist here. So bring the knees towards me, arms come wide. Let's start with the twist. So arms out wide, head turns, if that feels good for your neck. And then from there, all I want is just reaching the fingertips over, fingertips touch, and then draw them open across the body. Three more just like that. Closing off, exhale, expanding open on the inhale. Two more. Last one. And let's take the other side. So knees to the left, reaching the arms out wide in a T-shape. Turn the head. Let's take the arm sweep. Fingertips carve a semicircle across the sky. Touch them together and then sweep them open. Exhale. And inhale. Really open through the chest there. Exhale. And inhale. Last one. Reaching those fingertips nice and high. They touch together. Open wide. Beautiful. All right. Coming back to center, just finishing off with happy baby. Keep this one nice and gentle. So just arms behind the knees, take the lower legs or maybe piece fingers to the big toes. Draw the knees down towards the armpits. Let's close off the eyes here. Really drawing the energy down now. And maybe just a gentle rock side to side. Just massaging the lower back on the mat. Deep breaths here. Staying present. Just taking this time for yourself. And then from there, stretching the legs out nice and long. Feet about hip width apart, toes dropping outwards. Hands just resting, palms up outside of the mat. And let's just breathe here. Take these last few moments for yourself before you reintegrate with the day. 
as you breathe in feel that fresh new energy that life force prana and then as you exhale that sense of calm sense of relaxation Maybe just observe your energy. Has it shifted since you've come onto the mat today and done this practice together? I hope it has. I f hope you're feeling a little calmer. And then from there, when you're ready, bring a little bit of movement back into the body. Maybe wriggling the fingers and toes. Stretch the arms long overhead. Gentle arch through the back of the body. And then nice and gently with the eyes closed, rolling over to one side. Take a moment there for yourself before you press up to a cross-legged seated position. And then when you're ready, join me here with the eyes closed. Let's just sit up nice and high on the sit bones where we started, hands resting lightly on the sides, open through the heart. Find that length through the spine from the tailbone all the way up to the back of the neck and through the crown of the head. And then let's open the eyes. Well, that was a lovely little gentle, relaxing session. I feel good after it. I hope you do too. My love goes out to you. Let me know in the comments how you found this, and I will see you soon. Namaste.